Hello again, in this video I show you how to sew a hoodie with a zipper in the front. Okay, first we start with the body. Um, I double all the pattern pieces. Right click and symmetric pattern with sewing. Do the same with the sleeve. You can also do the um, control D. Then I go to the edit pattern and right click and unfold symmetric editing with sewing. Then I place them all on the avatar. And then I sew the pattern pieces together. I start with the body, side seams and shoulder. Then the sleeve. And the hood. If you don't know all the sewing tools yet, you can watch the video sewing tools before. And here on the hood, I use the M2N tool. And then I can start the simulation. So mm, here I forgot the uh, side seam of the calf, so I do this now. Start a simulation again and then we go to the zipper. Um, for the zipper I go to the 3D window to zipper. For the zipper you have to click once, start of the zipper and double click at the end. Same on the other side. And then start the simulation. I will show you how to change or open the zipper at the end of the video. For the pocket, first I need a shape. Um, I go to the internal polygon line. Um, with this tool I can create internal lines. And these always belong to a pattern piece. This means that I have always to start and end at a pattern. So I can do with freestyle shape um, and the line with a double click and then I can create a pattern piece so I go to the trace tool select them all and as well the hem and the side or the front and then right click and trace this pattern and now we just have to sew the um, pattern on the front. Oops. Okay. 
here on the hem. Um, please make sure that you have the turned version of the seam in the front as well. Um, if you have questions about the turn tool, um, you can watch my other video, uh, Trace and Turn. So then I can control D to copy this pattern here on the 3D window to place them on the avatar. I can um, do a right click and superimpose over on both and start the simulation. After that, I will create a facing for the hood. Um, I need a internal line as well, but now I will do this with the um, parallel lines. So I click move the edit pattern on the front of the hood, right click after this internal line, and then I can change the distance. So maybe 40 millimeters and OK. And then I can create a new pattern with the trace tool again. Trace this pattern. And control, oops. <laughs> and then I can control D um, to copy this pattern. Um, if I don't want to seam here, I can select these two or just one line and merge them together. Now I sew it on. Turned and superimpose under and study simulation. I don't like this internal and baseline on my 3D window. So. Now we can create our um, close-up patch on the front. Um, for this I would um, first create a rectangle and then um, I will put a PNG file with the letters. Mm, to import a graphic I go to the graphic icon and then to my folder and just drag and drop my PNG file um, here and then I can drag and drop it here. Oh, first I can um, do it on the on the front to change the size, maybe a little bigger. So like this, then back to the rectangle. And then, and then I have to create internal lines again. So I go to the polygon line and start here. Uh, to make a curve, you have to hold the left mouse button and pull it. So. Then here, um, then one click to close the shape. After that, you can change the shape with the edit pattern. So like this. So I do this with all letters.
um, when you're done then you can all uh, select all internal lines copy and paste it on the front and then I select all internal lines again uh, right click and cut I can uh, I can delete the rectangle delete this and then I select all of them and go to the particle distance um, for this little pattern pieces I would do uh, three or five and move it to the front so now I can sew it on, double click on this point and double click here again. And here this is the wrong way so I go to the edit sewing tool. Uh, right click and reverse sewing then back to it um, then back to the free sewing tool double click Oops. Um, here reverse sewing as well and here so then I can I then I can select them all and right click superimpose over start a simulation oh maybe this one is wrong Reverse Yes. So then I can delete all the, the graphics and these patterns. Just go to the graphic tool and select them all and delete. Um, then we can add top stitches. For this, we go here to the top stitch icon and add a new one. And then we can change this top stitch. Um, so we go, so we can go to the property editor. Um, here we can change the offset to the edge, maybe two millimeters. Um, then we can change the shape. Um, is it a normal top stitch bar tag or a buttonhole maybe? Um, and we can change the length here and the thickness. Then we can go here to the segment top stitch or the free top stitch. And then we start here. Then we see our top stitch. I can also change the top stitch again and it will change automatically on the 3D side. So I'm going to go here and maybe change the length. And maybe here the space between this. Then I can do my top stitches everywhere. Here. Here. Now we can add a fabric and um, to do this we go here back to fabric um, add a new one and then we, with open we can open our own fabric here um, Um, then you can select the pattern pieces 
with shift and go here on the arrow then you have applied the fabrics uh, the fabric to the pieces so I can do the same with this then I can um, add another fabric open select the pattern pieces again and then go to the to the arrow now we can also change the zipper so we uh, one click on zipper and here we can change the the slider this one and the puller stopper uh, top and bottom and we can also change the material and maybe to metal and um, as well the color maybe a gray one and done you can also do a click on the tape and then we can um, change the size of the teeth here so maybe six and uh, width of the of tape 12 oops and a swirl on metal and color If you want to open the zipper, you can click and drop the zipper down. Oops. I would do this in small <laughs> steps. Like this. And then start a simulation. You can do this the other way around um, to close the zipper again. So we are done with our hoodie. So if you have any questions, please write it in the comments and um, see you next time.